looks like painting in the sky, except with hardened steel. A new technology developed by Dutch startup MX3D is set to revolutionize the world of 3D printing. It enables the construction of highly complex structures made of metal in unprecedented dimensions. We use robots in a way nobody is using them. Uh, in, in the car industry and in almost all industries, people spend, engineers spend a lot of time programming the robot. They spend like months programming the robot to do one thing repetitively. What we do is more generative. So that means we have to shoot new information in the robot all the time. So every piece of information of the robot printing is completely different from the last one. The concept centers on a robotic arm that can be rotated along six different planes of movement. There's a print head that works in a style similar to that of a blowtorch. Reaching temperatures of up to 1500 degrees Celsius, it can mold metal into all manner of objects, both vertically and horizontally. We can use it for different industrial applications. For instance, everything you build out of steel, if you have to produce one-of-a-kind parts, it's really complex and really expensive. You have to make molds, you have to, uh, for every piece you make, you have to make a mold. And we can just print basically almost any shape we want. And among the more challenging shapes, a bridge. The team has designed this structure to span one of the 200 canals found in Amsterdam. What sets this bridge apart from the 1,200 already gracing their home city is that it will be printed on site, from embankment to embankment. We're not stuck to a bounding box anymore, but we, because we use a robot, we can move out of the bounding box and print from existing structures. It's really interesting, actually. 3D printing and architecture is also being explored at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. Its use here is more subtle, with a computer turning artificial sandstone into elements you might see in a cathedral. Customized algorithms are used to compute every nook, cranny, and curve. We've seen it in the past, in the pre-modern -pre days, um, that architecture was created with an incredible level of detail. If you look at Baroque churches, if you look at um, the Rococo, and so on. But it took an incredible amount of time. It took artisans years and years and years um, to, to create something like this. The 3D printer from Zurich needs two days to build up the layers of fine sand. A binding agent is used to glue them together and create the artificial stone. Each decorative detail can be adapted individually. Normally, you'd have problems with the scale and precision, but with this technique, in terms of the geometry, there are no limits. Except for the frame in which the printer works. The robots in the service of MX3D in Amsterdam, on the other hand, are free to use whatever space they need, which is a lot. It's one of the reasons the young company is moving to a warehouse at the edge of the city. We start out with a bridge, a small bridge first, because we have to develop. And then later on, we will see where it leads us. Uh, maybe new bridges, bigger bridges, uh, but also constructions, uh, the whole construction world. Uh, I, can, I think we can use this technique to build full buildings, maybe, at a certain point. And there are no material restrictions for the robots either. The speed of application is adjusted to enable the lower layer to harden before the next is applied. We started testing with brass, with copper. We're going to do some tests with aluminium. So basically all metals that you can actually weld, you can also use for printing. And that makes it really interesting. You can just switch the tool and you have a whole new technique. Construction of the bridge in Amsterdam is set to begin in early 2017, after planning permission and other conditions have been met. That gives the robots of MX3D plenty of time to practice. <laughs> <laughs>